hello guys so i am back with a new video that is list so here we will talk about something more about list obviously okay so uh, here we will talk about how to generate the list with the help of range function uh, pop method something more about pop method okay next is index method and how to pass the list to a function okay so let's start first with the how to generate the list with range function clear so for that obviously i need some list okay so i will write here numbers clear numbers is equal to i will create here list fine after that i will use range function so i will write down the range here 10 to 20 just suppose okay if i will simply if i will simply now uh, run this okay let me print it first print okay then what i have to print numbers okay so numbers here fine if i will save it and i will run it okay so let's check the output what is the output okay you can see over here i got the list okay that is 10 11 12 okay 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 okay. so i got my list first list okay that is clear fine so this is my first list that i have received here let me simply copy it okay so that i'll paste control c so okay so this is my list here right now fine Uh, we will use this list for further uh, functions okay so now this was my how to generate the simple list using the range function now the next is uh, pop method okay see in the previous videos we talked about that how the pop method works okay means it removes the element from the list fine so let's see how to do that first okay so for that purpose what i'll do i will simply write down here i already written here print numbers okay S uh, then after that i'll write here dot pop fine i will run simple okay so it is what is it is doing which element it is removing it is simply removing the last element that is 19 so it is tell okay so uh, through this method we come to know that we are easily find we can easily find out the popped number from the list okay so uh, this is all about now one more thing that i would like to tell you now it will tell you let's create one uh, variable over here okay uh, just suppose popped variable only okay then i will write here popped element okay popped element is equal to i will write here numbers numbers fine clear dot pop so now what will happen this 19 number that is removed okay it will be stored in this variable okay so let's uh, i hope you have understood this okay so after that when i will print this i will write here print numbers okay got s great so we got our list okay this is how we can have our list also okay and the number if we want the number then what will happen what will happen we will simply use this uh, this one okay and we will get our popped number okay so this was about the pop method now the next is index method okay next is index method so third okay uh let's comment it out okay great now index method in in <coughs> you know if i have to find out any particular element from the list the position of any particular element so for that purpose we use the index method so what does index mean here let me simply remove this and let me save here in numbers okay or uh, 
numbers or you can say fine or let me simply do this okay fine so index method means in this list now what is the position of 10th this number that is 0 its its position is 1 and its val uh, position is 2 3 then 4 5 6 okay this is 6 position 7 8 and this one is 9 okay so what we will do if we want to find out the position of any element so how to do that print okay then I will simply write down here numbers okay that is my list dot index okay suppose I have to find out fourth fifth number okay so let me run this let's print okay and see what is the output which number is there at fifth oh, oh okay great so the number it is saying that 5 is not in the list ok great so what will happen here see of course it is telling us that that number is not in the list ok so here now if I will change now if I will take the number from the list ok I have the numbers till 19 just suppose if I am writing here <coughs> 18th here ok 18 number save and then I will run so it is telling me it is at 8th place ok ok so 18 is at 8th position fine if I will write over here any other number just suppose if I will write here 13 ok not here <coughs> if I will simply write here 13 ok and save and then I will run so it will tell me it is its position is 3 ok so how look here 0 1 2 3 fine now what if if I have the repeated numbers in my list just suppose this is 13 I am having here 10 again ok fine so what will happen if I will run here and I want to find the position of 10 ok so what will happen here look so it is saying its position is 0th ok so what will happen what happened here you know when it will start search for the number 10 when it will find out the number 10 ok whenever whatever the position it will find out ok that will uh, that position it will tell us like 10 10 uh, here in the list 10 is coming at the first position only it will not go further it will not check any other 10 number ok so he got the 10 number at the starting only so that's why it is telling in the output that it is at 0th place ok but what if if I want to know other positions also so for that purpose what I will do I will tell it its position is 0 so I will tell it that it has to start ok it has to start this after the 0th position ok so like 10 ok after 0 ok so I will tell after 1 ok so let's see now control S let's see the output here what output will come now it is telling it is at fourth position okay so it is starting after one look here this is zero this is one okay so it is saying uh, zero one two one two three four okay so it is at fourth position so that's why it is telling me the fourth position okay now what if I want to tell it the stop search also means it has to stop the search at particular number okay so just suppose if I am telling it stop the search at 19th place okay control s and let's see what what does it says fourth position okay so it will stop its search after after 19 okay so let's see here after 19 ok we are not having any other number clear so it is telling that it is this 10 is at 4th position only fine so it will stop the search as 19th number clear so this is how we will use the 
index method over here i hope this is clear to you okay how to find out the uh, position how to find out the index value of one particular number from the list okay now let's talk about how to pass pass a list to a function okay so let's define one function here like list1 okay is equal to i'll uh, list1 okay i'll pass here suppose uh, a okay it's fine clear after that i i will create one more list here okay empty list so that i can fetch the values in this empty list okay list2 that is empty okay after that now i want to fetch the values okay just suppose i want the negative values okay for this particular number fine uh, i want the negative values now so what i will do here look very carefully i will use for loop okay for i in a okay i in a fine then after that i will say that list 2 i want to append okay with negative i fine with because i i am trying to fetch the negative values okay so after that what i will do i will write here return okay list okay return list fine so list 2 fine after that what i will do let me do the indentation okay so after that what i have to do i have to run my uh, call my function okay that is i will write here negative sorry i will write here what what was my function here that is list 1 list 1 fine i will call this function here then list 1 i will say here print okay print list 1 then numbers numbers okay fine print list 1 numbers control s fine so let's check what will happen here now now you can see it is giving me actually the negative numbers minus 10 minus 11 12 13 10 okay then the negative value of this particular list the list that i was having okay it is giving me the negative values fine so this is how i can simply pass a list to a function i hope it is clear to you okay if still there is doubt watch the video again and listen carefully all the concepts okay thank you for your kind attention see you again